most of one life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a terror worth having. When I do these recordings, I am encouraging people to focus 110% on their own life. Have you prepared enough for your family and your career, your profession, your industry, a way to steer your way all the way through to retirement? Do you have enough money set aside for you? Do you have enough conditions that allow you to retire? Do you have enough opportunities for you to keep your life going even though you may be retired? Do you have mailbox money coming into your home, meaning because you sold something people are still encouraged to buy it month after month so that you continue to get residual income? The realities of life is that you have failed to recognize life, or you really did a lot of good planning. Some people really are good at planning. Some people learn it from their parentage. Other people picked it up along the way and figured I got to take care of my family. But there's still a lot of people who won't even talk about this stuff. It's like it's taboo to discuss. The problem is it's not usually taboo to discuss. It's just taboo to go into too many details that are super personal. But if you know how to do something and you can share with someone how to improve something, then you should do that because everyone needs to retire. But sometimes people never make enough earnings, they never have enough money in the bank, and they can't, and they have to work for the rest of their life. In order to work for the rest of their life, they have to have an industry in which it doesn't age out, that people don't time out. But here's the deal. If there's a, an oversaturated industry, if there's tons of competition, if anyone can walk up to any street corner practically and find your position with some other company, then it's time to make a shift. It's time to find something that gives you a little bit more lift and openly you have to do that. I have a family with many birth related relatives but I'm looking at their lives going I don't know how they're going to afford retirement. I'm not asking for them to pay for my life. I have a late parent that left me some income and because of that she handles something for me an inexpensive modest monthly fee and since I'm homeless and since I'm traveling and since I'm still struggling and since I'm still building projects and I'm still getting paid in stipends and little by little over the course of time that is my ability to do that but at the same time she has the right to decide if she wants to help me without any interference at all she doesn't need to have her money manager telling her what I should and shouldn't be paying for that is a dereliction of duty it is malfeasance and openly if she made a promise to me but now my entire legal life my entire banking life, my fi entire financial life has been monkeyed because of advice that she was received or that she got given to her that impacted me. There's a major legal problem coming to them. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. What is my truth is my truth. What is your truth might be your truth. The only question is whose information is it really? Is it your information that you deal with on a daily basis or is it merely your information because you were aware of it at one time but it's not really your information to be moving around with other people all the time you see we have to be willing to decide where our boundaries begin and end if the information impacts your life really in the day-to-day -day aspect of living truly then maybe you can share the information. But if the information, the medical records, the privacy rights, the transportation rights, the mobility rights, the civil rights, whatever federal rights, if they really do, are belonging to someone else, then you really don't have a lot of room and legs to stand on. It basically means shut the fuck up and let someone else live their life.